Do we have Dr. Amit Gupta, NEET exam educator from UN Academy, who's also a petitioner in the case. Uh, Dr. Gupta, if I could come to you first. What really explains this? Over 25, 24 lakh candidates, we do believe, had appeared for uh, the NEET exam 2024 at more than 4,700 centers this time. And many students, uh, you know, it, has, uh, uh, it, it is being reported, have been given All India Rank 1. Thousands of students have been given grace marks. How, how is this possible? See, there are two issues uh, in this matter this year. One is about the alleged paper leak and other is about the goof up, the alleged goof up made by NTA while declaring the results. So let us talk one by one. Uh, talking about the alleged paper leak, there have been uh, there have been FIRs and the police investigating officers who have claimed that sanctity of the exam has been breached. And for that same matter, a petition has been put in front of Supreme Court and every day there are new petitions which are being tagged in the same petition for this particular issue, which is NEET and NEET UG paper leak. Now what happened, this issue was already subsidized, subsidized in amidst all this, NTA declared the result and that too on the day of election, 10 days before the expected or the declared date. And then it had more than I mean, there have never been more than one or two toppers scoring 720 out of 720, right. but 67 uh, students scoring the same. Hmm. And then also practically impossible scores like uh, 700, 18 and 19 were uh, declared. So all this led to a lot of chaos and confusion and NTA kept a silent silence on these issues until there was a public outcry. Then only a notification, a clarification was issued that some mechanism has been uh, derived to give bonus marks, grace marks to the students where time loss occurred. Now the point is that, uh, let's talk about this grace mark issue. NTA has actually used the judgment of uh, a, a CLAT case to normalize and give grace marks to affected students. And however, clearly in the judgment, it is written that it is not applicable and cannot be used as a reference for engineering and medical entrance exam. Hmm. See, the size of the CLAT exam is very small. Hmm. While NEET UG is the largest exam, possibly the largest exam in the world. 25 lakh candidates appearing. Hmm. So what is this happened that there are certain things, maybe mathematically, there was a logic in that particular uh, grace marks giving thing, but practically it has, it has failed because hmm. it has made some of those students who were below cutoff the all India toppers, say for example, we were expecting a cutoff for government MBBS around 630 marks. Hmm. But there are examples where this time, where this grace marks has made the 630 marks student reach 720 and become all India rank one. Right. Rather than being not selected. Public outcry. Hmm. So you're saying that there are two issues at hand here. First is of course uh, uh, the mechanism that has been adopted of uh, giving grace marks to the students uh, and on what basis that has been done that really is uh, difficult to understand at this point in time. However, the NTA has tried to give explanations. Uh, we'll talk about that also but also there is another issue of uh, exam uh, leak. Well, the paper leak that we're yes. talking about, about uh, yeah. allegations that have also come to the fore. Oh, uh, Dr. Gupta, what would you say? What's your opinion? Should the exam be held again? I mean, it's going to be a massive exercise if that happens. And that's that looks quite unlikely at this point in time. See, in the history of pre-medical entrance exams, once and only once, the All India Pre-Medical Test, AIPMT, which is now called as NEET, was squashed. And it happened in 2015 on alleged paper leaks itself. And I was actually coincidentally here, I was the person who spearheaded that uh, entire movement. We got the PIL and writ petitions and we managed to convince the court that the sanctity of exam has been breached. Hmm. Now, what was what Honorable uh, Justice Amitav Rai said in that case, that quashing of an exam must be the last resort. See, it is like, uh, if I may give an analogy, it's like giving capital punishment. It is only given in the rarest of the rare cases. Now what right. happens, if there is no other remedy available, apart from quashing the exam, then only the exam should be cancelled. The reason is because there are numerous genuine students who have worked hard Absolutely. and will they have to undergo a lot of stress once again. Hmm. So once once the investigating authorities conclusively establish whether really the sanctity of the exam has been breached, because yes. if the sanctity of the exam has been breached 
had as it happened in 2015 and we managed to convince the court hmm. right now this time even i don't have any direct evidences we are seeing fir's in police claiming in gujarat as well as in uh, patna in that also. yes that, yeah, in haryana also yes the sanctity is breached yes. i would request the court to take suomoto and call those investigating officers and take their uh, affidavits and then transfer the case to cbi and make it very quickly step, let us establish the fact the first, first fact that whether the sanctity is breached or not right. if it is not breached then we should close this file and if it is breached then we have no option but to uh, recon uh, reconduct the examination okay. so once that okay. puzzle is solved then we can go ahead with the second problem which, which is a major move by nta hmm. by introducing a system of normalization a system of uh, giving grace marks in an examination which is an elimination examination it's not a board examination whereby you can give grace because if you right. grace give grace to one student right. you are cutting the neck of another student Absolutely. you cannot do this well, that's that's a very good point an important point that you've raised here yeah? and of course whether the nta would be able to give any justification as to what has happened in the court the matter is going to be heard very soon in a few days from now well that remains to be seen and how this entire controversy really pans out in the coming days uh, uh, that also is something we'll keep an eye on. before we close okay i don't understand why is government not making this exam online just like j yes. i mean this will not that's, only that's solve something a lot of people issues. are asking about yes a lot of people have expressed their concerns about that that the exam should be made online that uh, yes. why yes all right so complete your point no, yes can't find a reason why it's not happening hmm hmm all right thank you so much uh, dr gupta for uh, taking out the time and speaking to ndtv